Okay, this is an overview of the Shows screen in Magic Base Pro. We're looking at the Form view of the Shows screen. Now it's important that you understand that Shows are a subset of events. A customer may hire you for an event like a county fair or a Christmas party and within that event there may be multiple shows. For example right here we're looking at a Christmas party but there's actually three different shows as demonstrated right here. We're looking at the first show of three and if I click on the browse arrows you can see that the first show is during the reception then the next show is an after dinner show and then the next show of the evening is a hospitality suite. So it's three shows and they're part of one single event. Now let me explain each of these fields. This section here is basically a summary of the show and the event information. The green fields have been auto-filled because currently we're looking at the event which is called the Christmas party and that's what we see on this screen here and you see that we're also dealing with this customer and that's our customer there that we're dealing with. So this screen here tells us, gives us a summary of what shows we're looking at and what customer. Now if you're having a, another performer perform for you, you can put the performer's name in here. And if the show is booked, the client has agreed to it, then you can select booked. Now down here is a history of the shows. These are all the shows that you have done or have scheduled for the customer, whether or not they're part of the current event. But you can tell by looking at the date which shows belong to each other. Now over here is the show details section. When you select one of the shows from here, all of the details will appear in this section. First we've got the show name. Now you can type in whatever name you want or there's a drop down menu and you can have a standard show name saved that you can select from. Here's the show date. You can type it in or you can use the calendar icon to select the date that you're interested in. Here's the show time. Once again you can type it in or there's a drop down menu where you can easily select it. This is the show type. You may be doing different types of shows. There's a drop down menu that allows you to easily select your show names in an and of course you define what these names are but this will save you some typing. Next is the audience type. Is it for children? Is it for adults? Who is it for? You can select that here. Then you might want to know the size of the audience. That may affect the type of show that you do. So you can type in a number here or quickly select a number. Length refers to the amount of time that you're taking for this show. 45 would mean 45 minutes of course you can select anything that you want from this list here. Location tells you the location that you're going to be performing at. The physical location. You can type an address in here if you want. Indoors or outdoors. If you're being performing outdoor then you'll want to know that of course because that will affect what you do. Sound. Do they have sound available or do you have to bring your own? And of course you can edit this field to say whatever you want. You can also select whether or not they've got a stage for you, if there's electricity available. Now the status button refers to the show plan, which I'll get to in a moment. You can select not ready or ready to remind you whether or not you need to plan the show. And then below that is the show fee. And you can type in any number you want or quickly select a show fee from there. Now this show fee field will be added with all of the other shows that you're doing and it will be recorded on the event screen. Now below the show details we've got a couple of other fields. First this is the categories box. This is a place where you can define the type of show that it is if you want to further categorize it to make it easier to search. And you can select whatever you want there. And there's also a checkbox field if for some reason you want to mark this show and come back and find it later. Now the plan show button is where you can actually plan the show. For example, we're looking at an after dinner show, so obviously you would have to plan it. When you click on the plan show, this takes you to the show planner screen. Now we've got all the event information, which is automatically filled in over here. And you can plan your show 
by simply clicking and selecting the routines that you're interested in doing. And all of the data will be filled in. And all this data comes from a different part of Magic Base. And once your show is planned, then you can go back to the show screen. And notice now the button says View Show. That shows you that the show is planned. And now you can change this to Ready because you've got it set. Now the last button here is the post show notes. If you want to record notes about how the show went, when you click on that button it opens up a little window and you can type in whatever information you want and that will be saved.